Today, I want to do second and third color in the shadows on the bicycle. In fact, it's not that difficult. Once you have this solid color on the first layer, remember when we painted the other day that solid color for the shadows, you have to find a second one quite similar but different enough to redefine the rocks a bit lighter and then a third one super shadow a really dark color not black because we never paint black to give this three-dimension look on the shadows let's see how it goes yellow ochre mixed with some ultramarine blue and a bit of blood green make a complementary greenish brown that deals in a very nice manner with reddish brown applied on first layer on shadow rocks with a medium brush, I am creating some contrast and an interesting 3D effect on Weisshorn's darkest parts. We will refine these shapes later with a smaller brush. Mm -hmm. Ultramarine blue, a bit of cadmium red and a pinch of blood green make an awesome dark brown that creates super shadows fixing rock shapes and adding great contrast to these dark zones in order to enhance painting's striking power. Remember, never, never, never use black oil straight from tube container to avoid dirty colors on your canvas. That's all for today. Second and third color on the darkest parts of the rocks and the shadows Tomorrow, the same thing, second and third tones on the lightest parts of the rocks on the lights. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. As promised yesterday, today second and third tones on sun-bathed parts on the bison rocks. We start mixing cadmium red, cadmium yellow and yellow ochre in order to get an awesome warm light color to enhance those parts illuminated by a raising sun. The result has to be warmer than usual because sun rays are especially warm during sunrise and sunset. We apply this color on rocks creating a certain contrast with other parts of light rock and sometimes revealing tiny rocks emerging from eternal snows. Finally, we mix ultramarine blue, blood green and a pinch of lightest second tone to get mild shadows on that vast illuminated part of Weishorn.